All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Genshin Impact playthrough session. We are here to start the next session of character quests. We wrapped up Venti and Jean's character quest. I wanted to add Mona's, but we spent way too much time on it. So for today, we're going to be starting Mona's character quest, which it's kind of funny because when I unlocked the story key feature to get like story keys to do characters, Mona was the most recently released character at the time. So since then, we've gotten Zhongli, Tartalia, Ganyu, and Hu Tao, which will follow Mona's character quest. But we're going to be jumping into this one next. I have very little exposure to Mona as a character character she was one of the first five star characters that i got when i switched over to pc and i haven't really used her she's only level 60 um i'm gonna be using her for her story quest of course like i've done with the other characters i'm giving her the lost prayer of sacred winds this is uh refinement five i'm giving her child artifacts because they are both hydro based so yeah there's not much more that i can say obviously i was only exposed to mona in the story from the unreconciled stars event which was the first event that i did for the game alongside fischl which it's really great that i have mona and fischl in the party that's unintentional as well but it's kind of funny how the first time that i really got exposed to them two in the story was during that event in the game so they're back together which is really great and so we are going to start this i don't know what to expect i don't know what we're gonna get out of this but here we go unlock mona's character quest beyond this world stars astrology in the 50 year pack you and paimon went outside liue intending to set off on an adventure oh okay so we have to ah i thought it was gonna be in monstat she's a monstat character but uh guess what we're taking we're going off for the beaten path it seems yeah so i'm excited for this one like i said i don't know what to expect i know she's an astrologer she studies the stars and all of that but based on what scott and Moosh said where like the stars are a lie and all that i don't know if her whole thing her whole shtick as an astrologer is gonna come crashing down oh this is awkward chat <laughs> she's already here okay here we go <laughs> finally <laughs> god damn it mihoyo I almost fell asleep waiting. Jesus Christ. Huh? Whoa, that's kind of cool. <laughs> As usual, my predictions are correct. The you, Traveler. Yes, you. Come with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a woman. Sort of door-to-door -door <laughs> fortune teller? Sorry, but we're not really... Do you hear this music? That ass. <sighs> oh. You're not from this world are you oh <gasps> shit she called it does my ability Ooh. to see through your secrets so easily not evoke any memories oh it's been a while okay so this is implying the unreconciled stars event because we have seen her before so it's been a while oh paimon remembers yeah that's kind of cool. I appreciate that because uh, this is the this would have been the first time that I saw her otherwise, I think, if we didn't do that event. That's right. So I like that. It is I, astrologist Mona Magistus. Mona Magistus. This Eminem. Time, I would like you to come with me to Mondstadt to reclaim a box that belongs to my master. She has a master? She has a teacher? Like Sucrose to Albedo. It was part of an agreement she made with a friend 50 she. years ago. She. But she isn't as spry as she used to be, so oh. now it's up to me. Uh, she's old. Not sure what getting some box back has to do with us. Why do you need <laughs> us to come along? Well, that's because I would also like to take on the guardian of the box. Oh, oh damn, that, them's fighting words. My master and her friend contended in the mystic arts all their lives without a clear victor. If I triumph here, then I will show myself to be superior to my master. Hmm, so you basically want to prove yourself. So basically you want to look good, prove yourself, I think. <clears throat> well, I want to prove the power and status of astrology, to be precise. Now, from my predictions, I know that my master's friend has left Mondstadt, leaving her successor as the current guardian of that box. Like me, that successor must also be one who has surpassed their teacher. Mm. I must not be careless. I wonder if we'll learn more about this master, or if this is just like a one-time thing. But I would prefer to assure my victory in this contest, and upon giving it some thought, you came to mind. But I have no idea how astrology works. How did he get involved in this anyway? Because I'm beyond the stars, Paimon. I'm not from this world. The knowledge passed down to me from my master must be passed on in turn. Okay, Mihoyo, we get it. She has an ass. Moving on. If I were to bring my disciple to meet her, then the lead is already mine, no? Ooh. And you are Mondstadt's great hero, my equal in status, so... Since when was I your student? Come on, you don't actually have to become my disciple. You just need to act the part. There's something in it for you as well, should you come with me to get that box. Oh, okay. I see where this is going. Once I meet that successor and have a chance to exchange knowledge with them, 
I should be able to read your fate more accurately. Yeah, she's about to level up. Then I will have answers for you, even regarding such distant and foggy kin. matters as gods and kin. Yo, she literally knows about everything. The unknown god and our sister. I mean, we know about our sister now. You're a little too late on that one. <laughs> that does seem much faster than searching the land country by country. Uh, that sounds like fine conditions. <laughs> A wise decision. Right. That said, I would like to pay a certain place a visit before we go. Okay. I love that her vision is like right there. All right, where are we going? There is a small inn near Mount Tianhong that never sees a lot of business, even though its food is always great value for the Tianhang? month. Tianhang? The owner has always been good to me, so I'd like to say a farewell before I set off. Okay. Okay, I'm going to say this again because I mentioned it like one of the first times that I got Mona and I was talking about her, but whenever I dash with Mona, I, I don't know why people don't like this dash. Like, I know like some people in the community have mentioned like this dash is kind of dumb, but I think this is kind of like super cool. It's very different. You move a lot faster, I think at the cost of more stamina, but this constantly reminds me of like the splatoon like you're a kid you're a squid you're a kid you're a squid and like you apply wet status when you come out of it but i always think of splatoon when i think of her well it's no wonder that an inn set up here has no business mona well, you've come at just the right time nope did you see a jade ring while you made your way here a jade ring can't say i have oh that's not good that ring was given to me by my mother but while my back was turned, it was swallowed up by a slime. That should be no trouble with Mona here. She's really good at astrology. Absolutely not. Astrology is meant to be used to gain insight into reality and observe destiny itself. It's certainly not for such mundane affairs. But didn't you say that the owner here has been good to you? This is a matter of pride and one state of mind. If an astrologist thinks that their arts can solve all problems, they will be forsaken by the starry ether. Their divinations will lose the power to guide and will not be able to pierce the fog of the unknown before them. Principles are principles. You want to know what's kind of funny that she said that, what that reminded me of? When I was a kid, I didn't understand what the word principles mean. Like the, like princip like the principle of the matter or whatever. Like I thought of like the principle of a, of a school. So like it took me like a long time to realize that that word has more than one meaning. But like as a kid, I was like, what is that? Like principle of a school? Like your school principle? I don't know. I thought that was really funny. Such a powerful ability. Every time I and hear that, I think of a school a principle. Living? What a shame. <sighs> well, I was going to put up 20,000 more as compensation. That's it? If you were willing. Uh, 20,000? Ah, uh, she speaks Morax's language. Oh, is she broke? Yeah, because she has that one idle animation where, like, her purse, she has, like, one more piece. So I'm like, she's probably hurting. Oh, uh, it's nothing. I, I was just thinking that the person who finds that ring must be lucky indeed to be able to earn 20,000 Mora just like that. Whatever happened to principles or principles? <laughs> <clears throat> yes, of course. <laughs> Still, ah. the owner's business has had it pretty hard. It must be a truly extraordinary ring to be worth spending this much more to find. It wouldn't be right for us to leave like this, so let's help to search for it. Oh, okay. There may be other means we can employ besides astrology. Damn, she's like, I'm trying to make a come up right now. I'm broke. Oh, Paimon knows where this is going. Yep. We're going to do all the work, and she's going to get the money. I know. I'll leave this one to you. Yeah. This is the first mission I'm giving you as That's your master. That's right, Aether. I'm feeling that right there, dude. The hand on the forehead. Just, God damn it. <sighs> I guess it's become my business again. Hmm. Since it was swallowed up by a slime, maybe we can use Elemental Bait to lure all the nearby slimes to it. You remember the stuff we helped Master D. Luke make? Was that when, like, all of those other slimes, like, like came in on us? Yeah, I think I remember that. Yeah. Paimon actually kept a small amount. Oh, well done, Paimon. Paimon's the very best partner, right? Anyways, moving Seems on. Seems like you already <laughs> have a plan. Yep, we'll be back in a jiffy. All right. Hey, at least Paimon came through for the first the time ever. The bait's really strong. It will attract all the slimes in the area. Like this. Even if they're just slimes, they can be dangerous together, so we'd best prepare ourselves. I mean, what are we preparing for? They're literally slimes. Decided by destiny. Ooh, nephrite ring. Found it. This must be the ring. Woo. Oh, the vapor damage. Okay, that's what it was. It's the, okay, never mind. Mona didn't do anything. It was the the elemental reaction. It's so pretty. Okay. I'm unsure it's worth a ton of. Uh, Paimon wasn't having any bad thoughts. Oh God, her too. 
Let's bring the ring back to Mr. Zhu. A nephrite ring obtained from the slime. Gorgeous color and clearly a top quality item. This must be Mr. Zhu's lost property. All righty, Mr. Zhu. I'll take that 20,000 more because I actually found it. Mona's just here chilling with you, doing a bunch of nothing. Looking pretty, I guess. That's it. That's the one. Ah, I thought it was lost forever. All right. You actually found it. Not bad. Mr. Zhu, you must take care of such precious things a bit better. You might not be so fortunate next time. I feel like they're getting me in the first half, guys. I'm like, okay. We literally just went on a ring scavenger hunt. And uh, I'm still trying to, I'm, I'm trying to pick up on some early cues. Like, how is this going to tie into Mona, astrology, the wonders of the world? Are we just going to find out that Mona's broke and she needs some money and that's it? You're absolutely <laughs> right. How would I have faced my family if I had lost the 253rd ring my mother gave me? What the fuck? Look at my face. <laughs> Look at our face. <laughs> Oh, dude, that's some quality meme work right there, dude. Just screenshot, instant reaction. Like, that's just a, that's just an immediate response on Twitter. Oh, my God. <laughs> 253rd. Oh, let me explain. My family owns three jade mines, and in order to ensure that I would be able to find myself a good wife, my mother had many jade accessories made as heirlooms. I think there might be over 500 of them. And you went through over half of them. Then why would you feel the need to set up an inn here? Well, inheriting the family business too early unavoidably made things boring. Oh, God. Thank you, all the same. <sighs> Here's the more, <sighs> as agreed. Please take it. Then... Time for food. Then I'll take it, gladly. Oh! Okay. All right, mihoyo. Who do you think's playing your game? Some, like, horny teenagers? Bro, did you see that shot? <laughs> Even Paimon wasn't that fast. All right, that was quick. Well, I did all the work. But we did all the work. A disciple should act like one. How can they steal their master's thunder? I never said I'd really be your disciple. Exactly. Mona, that ain't cool. Well, you need to start practicing now. If my rival is as smart as I think they are, they will figure you out in a heart. The starving art, the starving astrologist, am I right? Uh, what was that rumbling sound? Oh, right. You mustn't have eaten in days. I'm very sorry. I forgot that you have no- Ah, uh, shit. Damn. <laughs> Just freaking put her on blast. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I suddenly feel that you have indeed contributed to our good fortune. I say we spend this money on treating you to a fine meal. All right, just don't pull a Zhongli and be like, but I have no money. Money is a human construct. If we travel north, we'll reach the Wangshu Inn. <clears throat> I hear the food Ooh. there is really good, so let's go try it out. Almond tofu, let's go. No need to thank me. I'm just doing as a good master should. Did she say she was treating us? Is Paimon hearing things? Let's go after her for good food. Paimon has like a one-track mind. Actually, two-track minds, like money or food. That's it. All righty, let's see what's next. Yes. To Mondstadt. Go to Wangshu Inn en route to Mondstadt. Okay. Paimon's Pikachu face. That's literally a Pikachu face. All righty. Virgoldet. We're hungry. Don't mind if I do. I'm, I'm hungry, all right? I haven't eaten in days. Y'all understand. Since it's Mona's hey, tree, Mona, we Mona. can order whatever we want, right? That's what Ryuji calls Morgana. He says Mona Mona. Of course. I am a most generous master after all, but only if you can finish it all. Wasting food simply will not do. Excuse me. What would you like to order? Oh, I get to pick? Okay, golden shrimp balls, vegetarian, abalone, crab roe tofu, salted pork soup. All right, Chad, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I'm allergic to shellfish, so shrimp and crab are off the table. I feel like a vegetarian meal wouldn't be very filling for me personally, and uh, I'm not feeling the soup. I think for the traveler, we'll go with golden shrimp balls. I think I think that'll be pretty good. Yeah, we'll go to the sh golden These shrimp balls. These are made using large succulent shrimp wrapped in crispy fried potatoes. That sounds so good. They have an amazing texture. Tofu could not be a more ordinary ingredient. It and crab roe are truly <clears throat> a match made in heaven. It's one of our specialty. Mona's gonna be like, I'll, I'll literally eat all of that right fucking now. It's exactly what it says on the label. <clears throat> abalone made from abalone. vegetarian ingredients. Abalone? It's just as good as the real thing. This is a favorite among our regulars. Bamboo shoots, meat, and ham are cooked together. That kind of sounds good. Richly flavored soup. Actually, that soup actually sounds a little better than what the description said, or than what the the name of it is. Pour a few spoonfuls into each bowl of rice you eat. Mm, you'll never get enough of it. Actually, that sounds really good. I'd go with the soup. I'll order them all. All of them. We only have three. 
No, two and a half people? <laughs> Damn. Isn't that too much food? Damn, Paimon, you called a Paimon half a person. That's not how you count it. Besides, Paimon hasn't even ordered yet. That was just for me, by the way. That's just my food. <clears throat> Squirrelfish, Juyu Chili Chicken, and Jewelry Soup, please. Juyu and Chili Chicken sounds so fucking good. God, man, I'm so glad I ate before the stream. Sure. And is there anything else you'd like to order, ma'am? I... I'd just like to ask, how much do the current dishes cost in total? Um, around 20,000 mora. Don't worry, Mona, we'll share with you. All right, sharing is caring. We got that food for everybody. Then, uh, I'll, <sighs> I'll just have some vegetarian noodles, please. I mean, that's the closest thing to a salad. I was kind of right. I feel so bad. My mom's been <laughs> thinking about something since we started eating. Why am I eating four entrees? Like, what's wrong with me? Why does she only order one dish? Because she can't afford it. Is it? Because she actually doesn't have money? I'm sitting on a clean 21 million more right now, by the way, guys. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna need that 20K, by the way. You gotta, you gotta, you know, every little bit helps. I a heard penny that. saved is a penny earned. I said I was treating. How could I be rattled by something as mundane as Mora? An astrologist's mind is set on studying the stars. Being so easily disturbed by such banal matters would hamper my judgment. What's her what's her idol thing? Astrologers must rid themselves of worldly desires in order to truly see the world around them. But she's got Mora on the brain 24-7, I guarantee you. Especially the act of overly gratifying oneself using Mora. It is both vulgar. And you're still hungry. Yep. <laughs> and dangerous. Aww. So not eating the dishes we ordered is also part of an astrologist's prize? She doesn't want to just pick out. Paimon doesn't get it, but it feels kind of bad that only we got to feast. Oh, yes, we can do that. Just give us a minute. You don't use more to fulfill your desires, so it's fine as long as you're not buying anything, right? Look for the Let's innkeeper borrow the and borrow the kitchen to make, more, uh, to make Mona a dish. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna make her some adeptus temptation. We're gonna fucking blow her mind. We're gonna blow her socks off. Hello, how may I help you? Can We'd we use like to borrow the kitchen here. Friend of mine would like to eat a special dish. Ah, I see. In that case, sure. As long as you've prepared your own ingredients, mm -hmm. feel free to use the kitchen. Thank you. If I may add one more thing, you must be quite well versed in the art of cooking. Yes. Of course. If I make it, it's delicious. <laughs> Talented indeed. Actually. I have a small suggestion to Oh, make. we gotta get a new dish? Wait, don't I have all the dishes? From your clothes, you're most likely not from around these parts. But since you've come to Liyue, would you like to try making Liyue-style cuisine? Uh, sure. What am I making? I have a recipe for golden crab with me. Oh, it's a Yue cuisine classic. Oh, I do not have that. I can only buy golden crabs from the Yue cuisine restaurant. Is this the last cuisine that I it's need? It's crab meat that's been rolled in flour, deep fried, and then pan fried together with ginger and garlic. Ooh. When you finally plate up, the crab seems to be lying on gold. Mona's gonna fucking cry. It's gonna be literally like she's eating Mora. Like a golden, like a Mora crab. <laughs> golden crab. Golden crab? More like the golden house of crab. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. Um, Learning a whole new dish for Mona's sake is a bit... Ah, it's whatever. Golden crab! I got it, I got it. Golden crab, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> then let's get to it. With your skills in the kitchen, Hell yeah. this will be a sin. This is gonna be pog, dude. Let's go! I'm about to burn this place to the ground. Oh, we got the dish. Okay, um... <laughs> All right, inventory, uh, a detailed step-by-step -step recipe for making golden crab, just so I can have one extra. Oh, we got an extra one, pog. Okay, so... I actually want to check something really quick. Let me go to archives. I think that's the last dish I needed. If you look here, it shows all of the ingredients highlighted. That means if it's highlighted, I've made it at least once. And these are normal recipes as well as character specific recipes when you have said character. So we just got the golden crab. Yep, we got this one right here. So that's everything. We maxed out all of the, the food materials. Pog. There's no need to spend all that effort on me. I'm not in dire need of food. I am a little hungry. Aww. But it's not a big deal. Yes it is shut up and eat okay i'm gonna give you a delicious one so you can really knock your socks off look at the description the crab dish cooked in the ancient ways the aroma of crab meat inundates the room in the instant the, the instant it leaves the frying pan that sounds delicious oh this aroma is your special order ma'am wow it's incredible 
Fine. Since my disciple has put in so much time and effort, I must, with great difficulty, accept. Yeah, okay. You're ready to dig in. Mm. This golden crab is too delicious. I have never eaten anything this good in my life. You're welcome. Uh, I mean, uh. <clears throat> I <laughs> never knew that my disciple was this skilled. As your master, I am most comforted. I'm not going to give her the sus crab. That's fucked up. <laughs> as long as you're eating a full meal. Uh, you say that, but you're clearly relishing. As long as you're eating a full meal. I see that it's no boast to call them Liyue's delicacies. I suppose it wasn't too much to spend all this more on. Yeah, there you go. You're good for the next, like, until tomorrow. Ah, it's nothing. Nothing at all. Now that we've eaten and drank our fill, we should be off. If we travel north from here, we should oh. reach the Stone Gate, and from there, we will be within the boundaries of Mondstadt. Hey, okay. I wonder if we're gonna get some some tea from from the pops over there. What deep mystery shall we acquire knowledge of? <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I wonder who her master is. I wonder if she'll talk about it more. This is a great quest so far. Yeah, I guess the astrology business doesn't pay very well. Who's out here asking for their horoscope to be read in, in Tevat, you know? Even in the real world, like, no one's paying for that kind of advice. Like, you go on websites or you just read your daily newspaper. They always have, like, today's horoscope for the Geminis. You're gonna be, uh, your day's gonna be filled with bliss. Like, some nonsense or whatever. And, um, and they're constantly swapped between each other. So, kind of like everyone gets the same fortune. <sighs> That was tiring, but we're finally in Mondstadt. The quest to plumb the wondrous depths of knowledge is indeed arduous. I just realized, I, so I, it's funny because when the game first started, everyone was talking about it, but I feel like no one talks about it now. I wonder if the house with the blue seal on it is her house. Cause she, she pulls up kind of a similar seal when she, it's like a water seal on the door in Mondstadt and the water seal she pulls up in her idol animation kind of looks similar. So I wonder if that's her house in Mondstadt and she just can't pay the rent. <laughs> so they like sealed her out of her own house or something. Hi, Mon's not tired. Ah, uh, I wonder if that's why we're going to Mondstadt. Uh, that's because you float. Well, it doesn't look like an astrologist is all that amazing either. That's because you have too many unrealistic fantasies about astrology. Oh, boy. Are you also resting your feet here? Oh, I thought that was Nimrod for a second. I'm like, what the fuck's he doing here? Tyler? That sounds like a very normal, real-world name. Tyler? What the fuck? That's so weird. Everyone else has very unique word, like, unique names in this world. Tyler seems too normal. Tyler. Who are you? Tyler. Oh, my brothers and I are all merchants. We just finished doing business in Liyue. And we're preparing to head back to Mondstadt. Oh, look at these guys, eh? They're just like color. They're like, they're like, uh, palette swaps of other characters. You look rather tired. The cart we hired will be coming in a while. What say you to coming along for the ride? Mm, these guys kind of sus right now. No need. No need. We're already heading that way anyway. You gonna try robbing us? There's no need. Now, shoo. Get out of our way. Oh, she probably knows what's up. <laughs> Miss, is there something wrong? Are you treasure hoarders in disguise? Cease your pretensions, bandit. Called it! Let's go! Fuck these guys. Kicking up people on the road who appear vulnerable, robbing them blind once they've gotten on the cart, and then taking <laughs> them to some Archon forsaken place. Is that your deal? Archon forsaken place, yikes. What are you saying? We came over here to make conversation, and this is how we're rewarded? With insults? Ah, uh, here we go. If you don't want to get on, don't. <laughs> Crazy girl. Mm-hmm. Well then, shall I tell you now which objects you have on you that are stolen? Oh, uh, <laughs> that suit you're wearing for, for, for starters. If you have any quibbles, we can bring people to corroborate what I've said, and all will come to light. Damn. She's calling his ass out. If I lose, I'll pay you 20,000 more. I like this shot. But if I win, then you'll be eating prison rations in Liyue Harbor tonight. You know what's kind of funny about that? Like, even if he's eating prison rations, that's still more than Mona's eating at the end of the day. <laughs> How about it? If it's you're like, a real legitimate businessman, there's you know, nothing to fear, is there? Mona, you'd kill for some prison rations. Let's be real. <laughs> you, you, you've pushed it too far, brat. I don't know how you found out, but as long as we get rid of you, no one will have to know. Oh, jeez, you will not touch her. Don't fret, it's just a few bandits. Hey, she's about to send you guys to the next dimension. You said earlier that there was nothing amazing about astrologists. Well then, this is a good time to show you what your master can do. Oh, yes, master. Teach me your ways, please. <laughs> Yo! All right, here we go. Wow, these guys are actually like dressed to the nines, but they're like assholes about it. Judgment. Shiver. 
decided by Get him. <laughs> Woo! All right. Shadows of fate. <laughs> GG. Oh, even more. Holy shit. Let me scry. Oh, reveal thy judgment. Get out of here. There we go. Damn, that was quick. What did you think? Did that satisfy your expectations? Your combat abilities are amazing. I'm, it's impressive that you saw through those bandits. <laughs> Such things are elementary for an astrologist. Yeah, I'm about to take up astrology, guys. I'll be real. I can just like see someone. I can just see through someone. That's great. That's a great power. Lies are worthless before astrology. <laughs> Destiny and truth are written in the stars. Until you meet Scottamouche. Though it may take more time to garner the specifics, I can read the gist of a situation at a glance. But you did hit some bumps in the road. That's because Tivat's stars can only display the fates and truths of this world. Anything related to you becomes like a fog that even I cannot penetrate. That is why I must meet that successor. <clears throat> With our knowledge combined, I might be able to gain new insight into your fate. <laughs> Whatever the case, you've got everything to gain from this trip. All right, I'm rested. All right. Let's get this journey to Mondstadt over with. <sighs> if only we had a cart. <laughs> uh, I thought you weren't tired. And you hover, Paimon. That even exert energy from you. That was kind of funny. To Mondstadt. A bewildering fate reached Mondstadt. They live to fight another day. Are you ready? <clears throat> Don't shame your master now. We're about to meet that successor. I can't read the stars. I guess. <clears throat> Wait, no. It won't do if you have no idea at all, even if you are a fake disciple. We have a rule that forbids us from teaching outsiders. Oh. I suppose... I suppose I could teach you. My astrology is based on hydromancy, and as the name suggests, water. I use the reflections in water bodies to observe the true starry sky. True starry sky. Oh, God. Gatamush is gonna... I think that's what Mona's second character quest is gonna be, right? Because they already confirmed... Like, Zhongli's confirmed to have a second character quest. I think Mona's second one is is gonna be deciphering what Scottamouche meant about like the, the stars are a lie or whatever. Allow me to demonstrate. Watch closely now. From the present station and movement Ooh. of the stars, I see. So that successor is a young female, Knight of Favonius. Oh, okay. Is it Clee? <laughs> Doesn't that sound like Lisa? Ah, uh, it, it could be anybody. It could be Lisa. It could be Amber. Well, Amber is. It could be, it could be any be anyone. A young woman, a young female in the Knights of Favonius. We will meet her. Yo, Mona here Lisa, presently. let's go. Well, that's all the information we need. Uh, I haven't had a chance to look yet. <sighs> it seems that even basic astrology can't be grasped in one go. Never mind. I'll explain in detail later. Wow, you missed Kay! on every night and Pi Oh my Pi God! Yo! I can't believe it! Dude! Is this why Klee locked out Mona's character quest? Because when I first unlocked Klee's, it said I couldn't do jeans and I couldn't do venties because I guess at some point or another, those characters would, like, those characters in Klee don't intersect. But this is so cool! I literally said Klee a minute ago! That's her! Oh! The successor to what? great knowledge! You mean Klee?! Successor? <laughs> That's right. Oh, I'm my the astrologist who has plumbed the depths of the ocean of stars. Surely you have long calculated my arrival as well. Oh, my God. I was like, well, that could be Klee. It could be Amber. It could be Lisa. Like, I, I was just joking. I didn't think it was actually Klee. An ocean of stars? What's that? Oh, my. Does it have fish in it? Good God. We got to save the star ocean fish, too. Fish? No. Don't play dumb. <laughs> is this some kind of game? Wait, is Klee gonna be like goaded late game? Like years down the road, she's gonna be like one of the best characters ever? Oh man, this is so awesome. I should be the one saying that. I didn't get what you said at all. Oh, she's so adorable. We're getting nowhere fast. But my predictions can't be mistaken. Uh, well, maybe let's they're make not. Sure. Yes. Your mother's name is Alice, isn't it? <sighs> That's right. Oh, so you're mommy's friend, but she's gone very far away. Oh my god, we're learning about Alice? Are you serious? Mommy's friend, that's so fucking precious, dude. Ugh, my readings told me as much, but before she left, she must have imparted her mystical <gasps> arts to you, sure. I don't think so. Mystical arts? Is it a check her backpack. I don't get it. Mommy only taught me to make jumpy dumpties. Uh, fucking Q... 
cue Dainsleaf saying jumpty dumpty in a way that I couldn't take him seriously, dude. Wait, what? Maybe it's Totoko. Maybe it's the little thing on her backpack. Maybe that holds the key. So Glee's mother is the friend and rival of Mona's teacher? Holy fuck, that's crazy. Dude, it's a small world. Teva has seven nations, but everybody knows everybody. Yes, as well versed in astrology as she was, my master knew only astrology. Alice, on the other hand, was skilled in a great many other mystical fields. <laughs> dude, Alice better be a banner character, dude. Mother and daughter? That's gonna be such a freaking combo. I, I really hope we get to see Alice, and I hope she's a playable character in the future. Also, why the fuck is Alice teaching her daughter to make bombs? Well... <laughs> Glee's so young, so even if she'd heard this deep knowledge, she might not have understood. Yeah, she's, uh, she's got that latent potential. Yes, it seems she has inherited the blood, mm. not the knowledge. What a miscalculation. There can be no contest like this. I'm about to put Klee back in my party, dude. If if the Klee's character quest wasn't enough to do that, Klee being back here and her being super important, seemingly, to, like, astrology and her mom, that shit's gonna make her goaded late game. Like, one, like, years down the road. Uh, Yes. So before Alice left, did she tell you about a 50 year agreement Holy and shit. about a certain box? A box. Oh. I hope that box wasn't the freaking secret treasure that she buried away, because we're fucked if that's the case. Oh, I know this one. So you're here for that box. I'll look right here. Oh. <laughs> oh, is it in her backpack? Mm, oh. Not this one. Oh, she's got a book, a magnifying glass. Is that a protractor? What the fuck is that? <laughs> That literally looks like a giant protractor. Mm. Hmm. Or this one. Aw. Please freaking doing homework. No, no, it's not this one either. Come on, don't worry. Ah, I remember now. I buried it together with my new treasure. New Fairlands. treasure. Oh, it's a bomb again, isn't it? Why do you always bury important things outside? Wait for me. I'll be right back. Aw, Klee. She is such a freaking angel. I love her so much. Klee! I'll help her pack these things back. Mm. You go after her. Oh, yeah. She doesn't have her bombs, no? <sighs> Looking at how rash she is, I worry for the box. Don't worry. We got this. Clean, come back! Wait, what's all this stuff? Hold on. That box is really important to me. Oh, damn. I'm stepping on Clee's book. She's not going to be happy about this. If anything were to happen to it, I wouldn't be able to report back to that old crone. Damn. You called your master an old crone? That's kind of disrespectful, but okay. <laughs> Catch up with Klee and retrieve the box. Okay, I think it's better off if I just fast travel to the tree. Oh my god. This is crazy. I can't believe Yeah, don't tell Klee I stepped on her books, dude. Um I, I didn't mean to, I swear. We're Careful. Here. This is it. Let's dig it up. Uh this has to be the work of dendro slimes. It can't be. I put a sign here. There's no mistake. Ah! Dendro slimes! Yes, dendro slimes. Exactly what I said. Well, you're pyro, you're good. <sighs> We can talk later. Let's take I feel bad for first. this dendro slime. Let's be real. <laughs> Is Klee with us? Aw. Judgment. By royal de Get out of here. Get him. Everybody stand back. Yeah. Talk to Klee and retrieve the box. All right, sweet. Found it. It's this box. Yeah, you can tell Klee's been here. <laughs> Everything's on fire. <sighs> Glad it wasn't damaged in the explosion. Retrieval complete. Let's bring it back. God, you're so cute. I just want to pinch your cheeks. God, I love Klee so much. I'm putting her back in my party. I don't give a damn, dude. You're back at last. The wait was exceedingly dull. I had intended to read a book to pass the time. Okay, but This one relax. was just some ridiculous diary. Nothing of note in it at all. <laughs> Get it? Nothing of note? Because it's a diary? It dropped from Klee's backpack, so I thought it might contain some ancient knowledge. Never mind that. So, did you find the box? We did. It's in perfect shape. That's wonderful. Wait a moment. Why isn't it locked? And why is it empty? Klee, you got some explaining to do. Well, it's because I borrowed this box to store my treasures. But you borrowed the box? So what was... What'd you do with the thing that was in it? Borrowed? But since you're here for the box, I took all my treasures out. <laughs> why it's empty oh my she's being cheeky she's being very specific oh my god <laughs> she's like you just asked for the box you didn't ask for what was in it so you know yeah the music is fitting really not right really good right now you used it to store your things then where are the original contents of the box that's what i want oh you want the thing that used to be in the box <laughs> you should have said so yeah you idiot what are you thinking you 
haven't broken it, have you? No, it's not broken at all. What is it? It's the book in your hand. Oh my god. I was kind of thinking that, honestly, but I didn't say it. I was like, imagine it's the book. And she's like, oh, this book's useless. There's nothing in it. What? Nani? Th this. So this book, this diary, is that hag's... It's her diary from 50 years ago? What's the symbol there? I can't really make out the cover. The thing she wanted back after 50 years was the dark history of her youth? That you're reading through? That's private information? That's like her, like... That's like her teenage angst diary, her first crush, all that kind of, I don't know, all that crazy shit that girls write in their diaries when they're kids or teenagers no, or whatever. No wonder, no wonder that old woman said I should not look at it no matter what <laughs> or she'd rip me to shreds. Yeah, and you just went through it. Am, am I in trouble? No, Klee, you did nothing wrong. No solitary confinement for you. Uh, it was you who said you wanted the box. You didn't say anything about the thing inside. I don't know anything. Oh! anything. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, Master Jean's gonna get mad. I'm out of here. See ya. There's no point getting mad at Klee. What a touching conclusion. Uh, well, if you don't say anything, your master <clears throat> won't find out, will she? You can't lie to the stars, astrology, all that. She'll see right through her. She'll know. Impossible. Astrology can see through all lies. Yeah, call You've that. You've seen it yourself. <sighs> After having spent all my moral <clears throat> to come to Mondstadt, not only have I gained no knowledge... But now I can't return. How did it come to this? I wonder who the old lady is. Yo, she's like Madam Ping's best friend or something. Watch. That's so sad. Maybe you could forget everything in that book and then go back. Jesus, these shots. Am I right? That's... I mean, they're doing, uh, they're doing their thing, Too right? difficult. And even if I wanted to stay in Mondstadt, it would be... Too expensive? Yes. I mean, no. Oh. You really have no way with words. Well, then you'll just have to go back and face your master. S Stop talking about it. I, I guess I'll have to. I'll just have to stay in Mondstadt temporarily. Once that old crone's reached the end of her days, I'll oh be Oh my god, that's so freaking, that's so messed up. I'll just stay here until that old lady dies. No biggie. Jesus. <laughs> Does that really count as temporary? But what will I do about my astrology research? No, wait. I don't even have a place to stay. About that, we can go ask Catherine at the Adventurers Guild. Let's see if she can help. Dude, her and Zhang Li would be best friends, dude. They're both broke. <laughs> the Adventurers Guild? Ah, huh, right. You can do commissions for them in exchange for... For money. You know what I mean, don't you? Oh, um... Thanks. I... Never mind. It's not. Uh, you're welcome. All right. Let's just leave it at that. All right, guys and gals. Move over, Mondstadt. I'm literally the greatest character to ever exist in Tavat. Confirmed by astrology. Ad Astra Abyssosk. About Mona's background and her quandary. I see. I understand the situation. There is a magic laboratory in Mondstadt that has been sealed by some unknown person. A lab? Although we have a few specialists who could break the seal... They all have their own labs and aren't that interested in the matter. Oh, shit! That's kind of cool! I believe that if the astrologist you mentioned can break the seal, the <gasps> owner of that house wouldn't mind if she stayed Yo, there. Yo! Free rent! Let's go! Oh, so that's what it was. It was a laboratory? I think she can do that. All right. Then allow me to tell you where the uh, house is. It's the is. back corner, we know. Yo, let's go, dude. Head to the magical laboratory and, and check the seal. Hell yeah. Look at this shit. Yeah, I thought this was Mona's house originally. Because it has a water seal. And it looks like the astrology thing when Mona is in her idol animation. The person who placed the seal is by no means simple. Breaking the seal by force is nigh on impossible. Interesting. I suppose it's worth using my astrology on. I wonder, they, yeah, because it seems like they also use hydromancy. Let me see. Mm, I see. So if you first, and then you. Oh, I guess it is Mona's house now. Let's go! Rent free! All right, it's open. Holy moly, that's amazing! <laughs> Wait, so does that mean the seal's gone like forever? Now we just need to go back to Catherine and you'll be able to stay here! <laughs> Barbara's lab? No need, no need. You have my utmost thanks. Goth? What the hell? What are you doing here? You are? The, the goth, the grand goth, the goth grand hotel. Oh, I'm goth, the owner of this house. Oh. I passed by the Adventurers Guild a while back and... Catherine told me about the matter. Oh, shit. Oh, 
Damn, how quick was that? That was literally like like 30 seconds ago, my guy. I never thought this troublesome seal would be dispelled so quickly. Bro, you own the hotel and random houses? Does that mean I can stay here? <clears throat> About that. <laughs> of course, of course. The facilities inside were just being left there and mm -hmm. I would be glad to have someone make use of them. To express my thanks, I shall rent this building to you at the lowest <laughs> possible price. If it's not free, then it's not low enough. R rent? Oh my God. I thought we were getting this shit rent free, guys. It ain't happening. I didn't hear anything about rent, and I helped out too. Oh dear. It's like a hundred measly more a month. You should be able to no. Uh, oh, well, yes, of course. I understand. I am most <sighs> thankful to you for that. So rest assured that I will give you the best rates. The best rates are no rates. I, I mean. Aww. I'm Thanks, Mona's misunderstood something, but... Uh, save a little here, uh, scrimp a little there, and you'll be fine. This might be her best option. I guess I don't have any other choice. Mm. I'll rent this place. There you go. Great. Then we are agreed. I will go prepare the documentation. Please wait here. Goth is trying to just make a quick buck, dude. He's like, yo, anything to anything to get my business going, you know? Thanks for your help. Also, well, I'm very sorry, but I won't be able to do what I agreed to help you with just yet. Mm. Yo, it, you know what's kind of funny? This character quest is just like, we took Mona off the streets. We fed her a full course meal. We got her a house. Like, we just turned this girl's life around. Without the necessary tools and without new knowledge, it will take me some time to see your destiny clearly. Mm. But I promise that I'll do a reading for you first thing once I'm ready. Uh, as long, uh, wait, as you said, this journey was all gain and no loss. Our traveling together was fate. And of the Is it over guys, already? I wish you both safe travels. As for me, this was very short, very unexpected. Well. Very unexpected results here. I was not planning on like changing Mona's life around. <laughs> <laughs> Mona isn't homeless anymore. Let's go. Cutscene? How is she going to oh. make a living if she doesn't use astrology to make money? Maybe we should come back and check on her once in a while. It would really be bad if she fainted from hunger in there. Wow. And that's that. Act one complete. That was very unexpected. Very unexpected. Um. Oh, Mona's laboratory is what it's called now. That's kind of cool. Cut that racket out. I'm doing experiments here. Oh, nope. it's you. <laughs> I'm currently running some tests related to your situation. I should see some results soon, so please wait patiently. Mona character quest part two. Let's go. Don't worry about me fainting from hunger. In any case, I figured out a way to make some money. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you better not be selling drugs. I'll tell you that right now. She's like, I'm just gonna experiment with these beakers and test tubes. Hey, that's good. Apparently she found a way to make some money. That's uh, oh, look at that. The lights are on now, dude. Let's go. Even though these side lights aren't on. That's look, how does that work? I was one light on in the house, but all the other ones are off. You know what they say? The lights are on and no one's home. Anyways. Yeah. Very unexpected. This was a very personalized, uh, character quest compared to the others, right? The other ones, you kind of got a little bit of lore. You got a little bit of, uh, like world building stuff, right? With like Jean, you learned a lot about Lady Vanessa and the other footholds of, of like Mondstadt, like with the, uh, the, the, the the, the, the original um, Dandelion Knight slash Lion Fang Knight. Benty pretty much told you the entire rebellion phase of like first time that they took down Decarabian. So that, that, and that was crazy. You know, you learned a lot about Venti's origins. Albedo, you learned a lot about Durin and Zhao. You learned about the, the Yaksha. This one, I would say we learned a little bit about Klee and, and Alice. I think that's kind of like the external factors that we can take away from this is uh, learning a little bit more. We didn't learn about the, her master. We didn't really learn I don't know. It's it's really interesting. We just like took her off the street. We fed her. We learned a little bit more about her lot, her living, her living situation, and that there is a pact between, um, yeah, Alice and the whole Fifty Years Pact. I just wonder if we're gonna learn anything about the the master the next time we see Mona. I think you get a little bit of that. Like again, it got me in the first half. I was like, okay, we're over here like making food and looking for people's lost materials and stuff like this. Like, how does this tie into Mona? And it's like, well, Mona's got it bad. Like Mona on the ex on the outside on the surface 
Mona looks like she's got a lot going for herself. She's physically good looking. She, uh, she's got a lot of wisdom and knowledge with the stars and, and, uh, astrology, but, uh, she can't, she, she probably eats like once a week. She had no home to go to until this character quest. So Lord knows what her life has been like up until this point. But, uh, yeah, very, um, very real very uh personalized character quest compared to others very short too i think this is the shortest one or at least this one feels like the shortest one that i've done out of all the ones that have that we've uh, that we've tackled so far i would say cleese was a little bit longer than hers at least i think so or maybe it's because i was just fast traveling to all the locations so quickly but yeah um really liked this again i i really want this to give hope that we finished the character quests we did the unreconciled stars event and I like how the dialogue options also like reference that because it was like when we first met her, it's like, oh, it's you again. So it's kind of like that dialogue option was there because we've met her before in the story from the Unreconciled Stars event. So I just hope when her second character quest eventually comes around, it carries on with this in mind and Unreconciled Stars for whatever the truth and the stars and you know, everything that Scott and Moose said. So I'm like super excited about that. That actually might be after Inazuma if Scaramouche is a part of that region at any, you know, at any point. But yeah, really like this quest. We got the last recipe as well. So overall, I think this is a pretty, pretty awesome character quest, I should say. Yeah, I was pausing a lot during Venti and Jean's character quest. So maybe that's why there wasn't, there wasn't a lot of stop and go with this one. It was very straightforward.